All right, I got a little story time. I'm gonna try to make this a little quick as possible. I am Travis L. And uh, I wanna give you a testimony today, a little bit of testimony. No names will be mentioned, of course, to protect the, the identity of the individual involved. But um, this, the purpose of this is to put the enemy on blast and put myself on blast. Cause I always pride myself on being very transparent because it is in the transparency that those devils are uncovered. You know, our pet devils are uncovered when we be transparent and be real about what we're dealing with, what we're struggling with and what we experience. So here goes. <clears throat> Now, yeah, I know I've been t talking about this whole um, Taruma and, you know, instituting that divine law of the doing the correct tithing and the offer, not just the one tithe, but the tithe to your um, priests, the tithe to the church and the tithe to yourself. So anyway, it is just so interesting how before this thing starts to kick over into my blessing, my financial blessing, I see this thing uncovering some of my dirty deeds come on now come on church i'm not trying to preach out in these streets i see this thing uncovering the areas that are out of order and out of alignment in my financial um energy my financial spirit my financial soul if i can say it that way this is a very interesting i don't really have the words to put it so i'm just using whatever words that would kind of make sense because we, 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 we all have a financial uh, realm of our life, a financial center of our life, a financial soul, a financial spirit, a financial body of our life. So when that thing is out of order, when it is diseased, when it has a disease, when it is sick, there's no way that it can flow in harmony. There's no way that it can operate in abundance because it's sick. <laughs> so you have to get diagnosed. Something got to come to the surface. You got to deal with it first before there can be a flow. This is what I'm trying to say. It was a brother on my job. I consider him a friend, you know, a Christian as well, like myself. And... Um, I hit a rough patch. Y'all know how it goes. Sometimes you get a paycheck and the next day or the same day is done. It's gone. And you don't even have money for basic things like a meal or a haircut or something like that. You know? So anyway, I hit him up and said, bro, I just need to borrow such and such amount of money. Very small amount. Extremely small. I'll pay you back. Hear my words now. I just need to borrow this. I'll pay you back. So he did it. That was about like two, three weeks ago to a month. So anyway, this man would see me three times a week at the job because he's a supervisor where I work at. They didn't say nothing. Now, I wake up. I wake up today. I get an email from PayPal. But that's how he sent it. He sent it through PayPal. I get an email from PayPal saying about a money request. So I'm like, who? Who the heck is requesting money from me? It's like my, my spirit told me that it was him. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. And it was. So I opened it, and I'm like, okay, he probably requested for a $20 bill. Dang, you know what? I'm wrong for that. I should have paid him back already. Okay, not only is this man requesting... I'm going to tell you the amount. I'm going to tell you what it is. Not only is he requesting the $20 that I owe him, but in total, he's requesting $50. I said, what the fuck? I started, I just started going off. I started, I started cussing y'all. I started going on because I was mad. I said, I can't believe he just sent me this. I felt disrespected. I felt all type of stuff. So after I got out of my emotions, right? Watch this. After I got out of my, get out of, got out of my emotions, which were, I was, I was, I had a right to feel how I felt. After I got out of that, I said, you know what? Let me take responsibility for my actions I was wrong because I initiated this. Follow me, church. Follow me, workspace church. I was wrong because I initiated this whole thing that I'm experiencing right now. We 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 gonna we gonna we gonna bring it together. We're gonna round this whole thing up. It all gonna come together and we're gonna close and have altar call and offering. I was wrong because I initiated. I asked him for the $20, $20, and I said that I would pay him back. 
And I could have paid him back that following week when I had it. Okay? But I didn't. Not that this is this is a legit excuse or reason, but it was he's very hard to reach. And when I would have the money on me, he wouldn't be at work. You understand what I'm saying? So because of that, I was like, I didn't I didn't make it a priority to, you know, set it aside, maybe do without this or that until, you know, just to get that debt cleared. I just did not do it. So that's why I take responsibility for my wrong in that area. I shouldn't have done that. So because of my decision and my um, it's so crazy, so prophetic. See how God gets you. I just did a, a, a video called um, Honor Your Vow. So because I didn't honor my vow, that's, you know, one of the repercussions. Now, I will say this. So I text them back. I said, yo, what is this money requesting about? I know that I owe you 20, but you're, what's this $50 bill about? He said something about, oh, um, you owe kickback or interest or something like that. I said, I've, I agreed on no such thing. I agreed on no such thing as interest on kickback and double back, triple back, fumble back, five, two. No, I didn't agree on that. We did not agree on, agree on that. You will get your $20 by Monday. All right. You get your $20 by Monday. And that's the end of that. So, I think it's Proverbs that says when, in other words, I'm going to paraphrase, when you owe something or owe somebody money or, or just owe somebody something, don't give your eyes sleep until you pay that person back off and you clear that debt, you clear that karmic debt. That Because let me tell you, people are very attached to their money. I talked about this in the Money God video. You need to watch people are very attached to their money, emotionally, spiritually. They're very attached to those things. Those things have great value to them. So when you mess with that, you mess with that person. You know what I'm saying? We can say the character's messed up, which may be true, whatever the case is, but honor your vow when you have it. Even if you have to do without to get that vow and debt cleared, you clear it. So once again, I accept my wrongs for initiating that and not putting aside that $20 bill and pay him back or put it, at least putting it aside till I saw him when I had the opportunity to do so. So that's where I take up my wrong. Now, one thing with me is I don't tolerate certain things. And what he did right there, trying to extort me for the 50 that I ne we never agreed on that, I'm not tolerating that. So I don't consider this person a friend anymore after that. After you get the $20 bill, we're done. I'm not even going to ask God to, you know, God, Da, 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 get him. I'm not even going to do something, nothing like that. Because it was, that, that was like, whoa. So, what I'm saying is, honor your vow again. I know, I just want to share this testimony and be honest with you. Like, yeah, I wronged the guy. But and he wronged me back. You know what I'm saying? So, two wrongs don't make it right. But what, again, what I will say is after he gets the $20 bill this Monday, when I see him Monday morning, my relationship, my friendship with him is done. I'm respectful, so you'll get a high and a buy. But as far as a relationship or friendship, we're done. Because that right there, I don't tolerate. You know? You can't really argue a situation like that and say, Oh, you're supposed to be my friend. How you gonna? How the hell are you going to request $50 for me and blah, blah, blah? Because guess what? They're going to turn around and say, Yeah, you're supposed to be my friend. How the hell are you going to owe me $20 and they don't want to pay me back? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, both was wrong. We both wrong. So that's, that's the funny part about it. But I say, yeah, but still, I'm not going to tolerate that. I don't play games like that. I will cut you off. I don't play games like that because now you're trying to extort me, you know what I'm saying, on something I didn't agree on. So I just wanted to share that testimony with y'all. I hope you guys found some laugh. I hope you guys found some um, relatability. I hope you can relate. But this thing is serious. So I see this. This thing is uncovering my deep, dark, dirty financial secrets. And I don't have a, a issue with paying people back. I don't want y'all to think that. But this was something that the Holy Ghost was like, yeah, I'm going to deal with this. Because when I start blessing you with finances and stuff, before I start blessing you, that's not something I want you to do. But I want you to be very clear and integral financially. And that's what the tithe offers, guys. Shalom.